Okay, so maybe you're wondering how sometimes you see the GDMLs in the downloads have a specific view saved with them, and then maybe the ones that you create are always from the top view. So how is it that we do that? So we want to change this one to this one. So what I'm going to do is just double click this and it should open up in Machine Tool Builder. And inside of Machine Tool Builder, you know, you can you can change your view to whatever view you want it to look like. And once you've done that, you come to view and then there's a set preview here. So we can click on that and then you'll see that the file name will have a little asterisk added to the end of it, which means that this file has changed, but you have not yet saved it. So we could come here to File and come to Save or hit Control S on the keyboard. And that one will then, once I save it, uh, you'll see that the preview inside of the Windows dialog box will update to match the preview of the of the screen that we're looking at in Machine Tool Builder. So if you have built a bunch of these, um, what I can do here is a little trick that uh, just to kind of make it a little bit uh, faster to do. If you've built a bunch of these and you want all of the views to look nice like this so that you can identify what the product is visually, what I do is I just kind of set my width to have five items and then I'll just window in and highlight those five items by taking my mouse and clicking to the right and then just doing a box. And then once I do that, I hit enter on my keyboard and that will open all five of the items in Machine Tool Builder for me very quickly. And then what I could do is just rotate and then hit control S on my keyboard and get rid of this one by hitting the X, rotate, control S, X, rotate, control S, X, rotate, control, save, X, and then rotate, control, save, X, and you'll see that those five were updated very quickly. So that's a little trick inside of Machine Tool Builder on how to create those uh, specific views for previewing a file. So if you have any uh, suggestions on a, on a how-to video or something like that, definitely let us know. Hopefully this helps you make better GDMLs.